Santa Fe to me is a city with a lot of culture. People come and check it out because the museums, the art, the architecture. You could be downtown Santa Fe and five minutes later you're at a trailhead, but you feel alone in the hills. Santa Fe is the spiritual place. You can find yourself, you can lose yourself here. There are powerful Latinx subcultures with a unique heartbeat shaping every city in the U.S. A heartbeat formed by a group of Americanos who are embracing the roots and shaping the future. A long lineage of Latinx artists, chefs, musicians, and creators helping to make their towns a one-of-a-kind place to explore. This is the U.S. through their eyes. Welcome. I'm Dennis Javier Hasso. I play drums for the band Nosotros. My name is Randy Sanchez. Um, I play guitar, the Cuban Tres, and I sing in the band Nosotros. And we are at Evangelos in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I think Santa Fe is a very mystical, magical place. It's a place with a lot of history. I feel this vibe exists because uh, people have been here for thousands of years. So something gets imprinted. A lot of artists find themselves here. This is their home, but you can find their work all over the world. When I first moved here, people would say this is sort of the Paris of the Southwest when it comes to the art scene. Santa Fe is a great music town. I'm constantly blown away when I go out to listen to music, just the caliber of musicianship that is here. You got some amazing jazz musicians here. You have the Santa Fe Opera here. And you can find music here in Santa Fe seven days a week. So we are at Evangelos, and Evangelos is uh, very much home for nosotros. Well, Evangelos has been in our lives since about 2001. And being here at this bar with 50 years of existence, we know we're part of that scene. This is my fourth day in a row here in Evangelos. I played here once and the rest of the time I was either hanging out here or meeting friends here. It's unique, it's, it's history, it's, it's something that you have to see when you come to Santa Fe. The owner, Nick, has really welcomed us into Santa Fe. Well, they came in, in here and they asked me for, for a gig and I said, you know, of course, you know, I'll give you, you know, I always give people a chance in life, because my father told me that. You know, giving somebody a chance, see what happens. You know, he says, America gave me a chance, and I became somebody. And I said, well, yeah, that might be like my night off, working behind the bar, making money, and enjoy myself. <laughs> and since then, the first time they played, I said, you guys are here for life, you know? It's easy to just call us Latin, but when you listen to our music, you'll definitely hear jazz influences, you'll hear uh, rock, and of course, Latin, we like to play tribute to the folkloric rhythms of cumbia and salsa. I think maybe a quintessential Latinx experience in Santa Fe would be our band. A lot of our audience is the Latino community. It's a place for them to gather, a place for them to be, regardless of what part of Latin America they come from. I think that sort of speaks to the Latinx movement in bringing people together and, and unifying. My name is Daniel Coris. We're in La Tierra Trail System and you're at Frijoles Trailhead. You know what, you really feel secluded when you come up to the hills. You're five minutes away from downtown Santa Fe, but you feel alone in the hills. It feels like nature's all to yourself. I was born in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Started riding BMX when I was nine, 10 years old and been riding since. When I'm on a bike, I feel free, I feel relaxed. It always feels like you're exploring in Santa Fe. The Latino population in Santa Fe is really good. Everybody's willing to help and give a helping hand, especially here in our trail system. 
Our trail systems are awesome. It's one of the only places you can ride multiple spots in a single day and go downtown and have some of the best food. You're gonna learn one of the big questions at every single restaurant is red chili or green chili. I feel growing up in Santa Fe, because it felt like a small city, people were trying to leave. And now <laughs> that we're getting older, everybody wants to come back. My name is Kiko Rodriguez. We are in the restaurant of Izanami at 10,000 Ways. 10,000 Ways is a Japanese-inspired spa. The people can come and, and stay here for a weekend and kind of like experience a little bit of the Japanese culture. I was born in Veracruz, Mexico, on the south of Mexico and the Gulf, you know, near the beach and a lot of water, totally the opposite from Santa Fe. I came here in Santa Fe about 16 years ago and I really enjoyed the city. For me, it was like my hometown, like a city that I can relax and, and feel safe. I want to share with you a little bit of sashimi and, and sashimi in my own way. I say I like to use some of the Latino ingredients here. Here we have onions, peppers, and we're going to use the best part, jalapenos. Santa Fe, I think, is unique because you have a diversity of uh, food cultures. Uh, Japanese, Spanish, Italian, New Mexican, Mexican. I think that it's one also of the reasons that made Santa Fe special. Even though we are in the desert here, around Santa Fe, it's a lot of great farmers there. They offer us a beautiful, organic produce. The, and the summer is amazing to experience with all of those ingredients. It's a lot to play with. We are one of the restaurants that have the biggest selection of sake here in America. And I think sake is a, something that people really come here and enjoy a lot with the food. Here we're gonna do the ichigaki, the traditional hot stone cooking wagyu. People usually grab it with their chopsticks and just put it in the hot stone. I want to experience and play with the ingredients. I want to create something that people enjoy, but also is unique and special. My first memory of cooking was with my grandma making tamales. We all together cooking the masa, prepping the chili, the meat, and that's what I, I try to do with my crew here. We have to work together and cook together as a family. Because if we do that, love comes to the food. And that's what we want to share with everyone here, love in our food. One of the cool things about the diversity here is everybody's open. They're, I feel like most people are open-minded to all other people. I think Santa Fe will be a good place for uh, anyone because it's so special. I believe it's so different though for many other cities here in uh, America. And again, it's because the culture, because the history around it. I think the Latino community here in Santa Fe is the essence of Santa Fe. It's what makes Santa Fe what it is.